this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on King's Quest. This is Chapter 2, Rubble Without a Cause. And it looks like we're playing as Graham again, and oh, we're playing as old Graham this time. In the first chapter we were young Graham, and I think each chapter I'm playing as him gradually getting older, but this seems to be him a, a lot older, judging by the uh, distinguished grey beard. <laughs> That was a little bit spooky, wasn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm the king now! Pockets! Uh, Sir Gra- uh, King Graham, we have some important addendums that need addressing. <clears throat> you have my attention! Proceed! Yes, well, our new uniforms came in, and addendum 90210 grants you the executive power over costuming. Which colours do you prefer? Scarlet Sunset or Crimson Colada? Um... We well, see the little. They kind of look exactly the same. Uh, let's go for Scarlet Sunset. Uh, Scarlet Sunset. It's the obvious winner. That other uniform just isn't doing it for me. Splendid choice, Your Majesty. Told you number two. Oh. Next item. How would you like to handle Daventry Decree eight six seven five three zero? Eight six seven five three. Your daily oh. foot rub. How would you like it handled? Um, light touch, deep tissue, soul healing. <laughs> I can get used to being the king. Uh, I'll just go for a light touch today. I'm feeling a little bit ticklish. Let's start with light touch. I wouldn't want to be rubbed the wrong way. Hilarious. Your key decisions are already shaping the kingdom for the better. Yay. This is definitely better. So I have recovered the stolen beds. However, goblin sightings are on the rise again. The horde is sapsing in the northwest. How would you like to proceed? Uh, set traps along the castle border. Seek an audience with their king. Send in the infantry. Uh, let's seek an audience with the king. Let's see if we can talk to them. Let's seek an audience with their king. Negotiate some common ground. A star shroom pie should do the trick. Excellent strategy, sire. I'll stay to it at once. Now then, what are your thoughts on Proclamation 741? I am... Um... How's this pressure, your majesty? Um... Oh, wait a minute, no, because I'm going to answer this question, and they're going to think I'm answering the other question. But I'll say it's fantastic. It's fantastic? You heard him, guards. Proclamation 741 passes. Wednesdays are now officially opposite day. <laughs> wait, what? I'm not sure I like this. Sire, Kyle and Larry would like to know if they can host their music night in the throne room. Well, I, um... Miss Madeline and her court wish to seek an audience with you. Um, no, well, I... should we send in first to deal with the goblins? Can I wear your crown? Um, uh, no, no, Acorn and no. Uh, not tonight. Uh, reschedule, whisper, and uh, never again. Uh, no, two nopes and... Uh, let's, I don't know, I'm just gonna press the controller and see what happens. Not tonight. <laughs> let's reschedule. Whisper and never again. Opposite day! Uh, yes means no, and no means yes. <laughs> This is ridiculous! And I love it! And now this one is... did you like again? Uh, Sunset so Scarlet, I liked. Which... Oh no, because it's opposite day! Uh, next? Um, you should uh, do 94. Addendum. No. Oh, Goblin strategy seems to be failing! Oh no, but it was a good one. Can we talk outside, please? Think... Are we observing ice cream for breakfast day this year? Yes, definitely yes. Yes, I've got it already passed. Got a slight problem with dinner. Care to reorder? Um, yeah, can I have, um, a uh, never-ending beef stew? The trolls have requested the royal steed to wear socks as well! Um, uh, uh let's, let's, um, what? You smell syrup? L what? Please, stop! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Enough! Out! Everyone! I need a moment. I don't know what his problem is. His problem is that he's not King Edward. There's not even bees in here. Well, a little bit stressful. I'm sorry. I'm going to get some air. But sire, it's pouring outside. That's fine. I'm going to visit the Hobblepots. Maybe they have a calming potion in stock. As you wish, your majesty. Okay, well, we are back into the, uh, the swing of things. Back into the world of King's Quest. That was hilarious. So I... Uh, I guess it's uh, not as easy as you might think being king, as um, <laughs> as I think I just proved. That was uh, quite a lot to, to deal with, and apparently it's now officially opposite day. <laughs> I'm in control now, though, uh, so I don't really know what the problem is that I'm trying to solve, so I guess I can explore for a bit. And let's start off with the, the magic mirror, then, shall we? Huh. I'm not sure if this hat fits me. Um, 
I think it does. I think it looks lovely. All right, then. Let's go and uh, wander around the uh, the kingdom, then. So we had to go to the... There was a uh, hobble pots or something? Uh, they were the uh, the two old potion makers you may remember from the old chapter. And if you haven't seen chapter one, I definitely recommend watching that first one, just because it was hilarious and a lot of fun. And also just so you can kind of know what's going on uh, a little bit better. And it looks like we have a, uh, a, leaky, uh, a leaky castle. And to cut budget somewhere. Come on, you can patch that up. <laughs> Do I have anything on me, by the way? Oh, all I've got is my old hat. That's the only thing I have to my name right now. It looks like the uh, the real guard and then the, the statue having a staring contest. Thanks for hiring me, sir. I am proud to be your royal guard number three. Armor never suited me. Hmm, okay. Seems to be a very big and very empty castle. And whoa, that was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're, we're going back into to town, back into to Daventry, I guess. Oh, so this is the uh, the castle. Oh, there was something in the, the water then. So this is my this is where I live. This is my my new home. I am now the the king. And all are all the the mouthpieces still here? If you saw the the last chapter, there was there was a big deal with the the bridge trolls going missing. <laughs> and I had to get the mouthpieces for the horse. Let's see if it's here. There we go. That's good. At least, at least I'm not dealing with that again. Uh, let's see who's uh, who's going to show up. <sighs> Looks like oh. Pilar called in sick again. Looks like no one's going to show up. Hey, Wolfie. Hey! <laughs> ah, things are good. <laughs> oh, you look a little under the weather. Wolfie <sighs> wouldn't want your new shiny hat to get rusted. Thanks, Wolfie. I needed a break. Approving addendums is not exactly the adventure I was trained for. But King Edo chose you. Many, many people wanted that hat. Pilar applied like... Oh, 17 times. I guess I was born at the right time. I'm just lucky. Luck? Huh. <laughs> but m remember when you recovered all the stolen treasures? And, and remember how you solved that impossible riddle? Oh, oh, oh! And, and that giant beanstalk you scaled? Was that luck? Huh. <laughs> think not. <laughs> well, none of that matters now. The throne leaves me little time for questing. I'm just trying to be half the king. day dead up! King Edo wasn't perfect, little buddy. Daventry was a mess when you got it. <sighs> Wolfie's back scars, remember? Well, when you have a legacy like that, people tend to forgive your final years. Come on, little goosey. I'll walk you into town. Ah, I like Wolfie. Wolfie and little goosey. Come on, little goosey. <laughs> Aw, thank you, sir. Oh, don't even say goodbye. Just wander off. You know, there could be worse situations to be in. You're still the king, and all. Oh. Am I being watched? I have a feeling like I'm being watched. Oh, I am being watched. I think there's a... Is that a troll or a goblin? Or oh, a lot of trolls or goblins, which, which, whichever ones they are. It's hard to tell the difference between them. Oh, well. <laughs> it's funny when, like... It's funny when I know something, but he doesn't. Like, I'm playing as this character, and I know that there's all of those things watching him, but he doesn't. It's always just a little bit weird. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the, um, the probably potties or whatever they're called, and let's go and uh, speak to them. See if they do have any sort of calming potion, which would help me out. Or see if they're even home. And it looks like they're not even home. Uh, right, let's go and speak to some other people. Oh no, oh no, oh no. That actually made me jump then. What's going on? I'm playing music. And now jumping on my head. Was this all just a dream? It's weird because it's still, because this is like the current day and it's storming here as well. This is a Gwendolyn, isn't it? So the way it's set was, um, in the first chapter at least, was Graham uh, was telling the, the stories of his past to Gwendolyn. Help and it looks like there's a, a scary storm going on right now. And if you remember, the end of the last chapter actually ended in a bit of a cliffhanger. She was having a duel, and then a guard came and said, Quick! It's, it, it's, uh, it's Graham, it's your grandfather. And then they kind of ran inside, ah, but then it ended. Four, eight, six, seven, seven. So this is me remembering, I guess, what was happening just now. And ooh, nicely decorated. I seem to have hurt my arm mm, as well. I don't think that was hurt before. They were right. Oh. Ah. I didn't help him out. Sarts. <gasps> oh, Gwendolyn, is that you? Come in. I didn't mean to scare you. Grandpa, 
You're supposed to be resting. So are you. I couldn't sleep. Neither could I. That's a lot of presents for a broken arm. Yes. Well, it certainly wasn't my most graceful tumble, and I am sorry I missed your fancy tournament. There's another one next weekend. I would miss it, even if Kyle has to carry me. <gasps> Are you afraid of the storm, dear? Or your own imagination? No, I'm not afraid of anything. Ah, oh, well, since neither of us can sleep, Want to hear a story about a time when I was definitely not in any way afraid of anything either? Does it have a dragon? It might. <laughs> it was a treacherous evening, just like tonight. As an adventurer, a goblin kidnapping would have been a fun romp. But as a new king, it was terrifying. Okay, so they are definitely goblins then. <laughs> right, back to the uh, back to the past then, I guess. With me being the, the king. And uh, the goblins taking me away on a mattress through a cave. I still don't know why all the beds are being stolen yet. I still haven't found that out. <laughs> There's a talk about that a lot in the first chapter, and I never found out why. But I think we might be about to meet the the goblin king, or at least the the leader of the goblins. That's what I reckon. And this is kind of what I wanted anyway. I kind of wanted to talk to him. Is this the goblin king? What is that? Is that even a goblin? Um, that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Is that like some sort of wheelchair thing that he's riding on? Okay, whatever. <laughs> mm. That's not an easier way to get around than just walking. <laughs> my, my hat! Oh, they're trying to take his crown, I think. Oh, no, they're taking his old hat. <laughs> Why have they kidnapped me? <laughs> they're just making fun of me? I, uh, <clears throat> I demand to speak to your king. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think they're going to give me very much respect down here. <laughs> I don't know what gave me that impression. And in front of my face. And I'm not sure I wanted to see anything else down there. Oh, okay. It's very, very dark. You see in the bottom of the screen in the middle? That's me there. So, oh, oh, what's that? That was a little glowing fish thing. That's so cute. Okay, so I guess I need to try and make my way to, oh, ow. Okay, I've got to the light. Can I, can I pick this up? Can I use it as like a torch? I don't think I, oh, ow. Okay, it's gone down here, and it seems like every time I hit something, it kind of flashes. I guess, do I need to kind of try and remember a route? Can't be as bad as it smells. If I keep trying to, to move it... Oh, what's that? Was that the I'm dragon? Fine. Is the dragon I'm down fine. here? I think I saw the dragon. Okay. Oh, no. Which means the dragon is right next to it. But I think I've got to go to it anyway, because I don't know what else I can do. I think... Oh, I was going into a jar. Okay, I can see by the ripples where the jar's gone. Let me see if I can go and pick up the jar. So it should be down. There, I think I got it. Yeah, there we go. I got an empty jar. Okay, that was good. And so, okay, I'm making my way up to the fish now, I think. And let's see if I can put the uh, the the fish into the jar. Then I can use it as a light. I shall call you Newton. <laughs> Back to the, the puns, I can see. One of the best part about this game is the amount of the puns. Obviously, I like it. <laughs> Okay, so oh, am I leaving it there? Well, it seems like a load of them have stayed lit up. I was exhausted. I just wanted to sleep. Right, okay, I can see the, the room. Is this the same room? I'm sure there's a lot more things I was banging into before. Right? At least I can see it. At least I can see what i got to do. And what's this thing I guess here? I should try to eat something. Oh, I need to eat something. Um, I am feeling pretty weak. Okay, I don't got much to eat. Look look at me wandering around like this. <laughs> I'm all hungry. Well, what was there to eat? I don't want to eat Newton. I can't see anything else to eat. There's a thing, look, up here. Okay, so there's lots of pipes around the place. Okay, and then there's this thing here. What's this? What's oh, a mirror? Like I felt terrible. And then there's like three like I biceps. Like I felt terrible. Underneath. So may maybe I've got to get my strength up before I can leave that. Oh, maybe I'm not strong enough to pull the lever. Is that what's going on? Let's see. Ah, okay. So I need to have some num nums. I was okay. exhausted and too weak to work that lever. Yeah, if I get some num nums, 
Okay, then I can get my strength this up. This better not be the chamber pot. And then I can hopefully pull the uh, the lever. <laughs> and if you don't know what a chamber pot is, I'm not going to tell you. Anyway, right, so let's go and uh, put the, the bucket down here, I guess. And then if I turn this, is it going to fill it full of water? Um, I think I might be... I could make some mushroom that stew, maybe. Was porridge? that... Oh! Is that porridge? Is that really porridge? Ooh, it's squishy and cold. Well, it's no time to be fussy, Graham. We're stuck in a dangerous situation. Oh, is there a door here as well? And I'm assuming it's locked. Yeah, it, it, of course it's locked. <laughs> what a weird room for them to put me in. Right, let's see if I can eat the porridge then. Oh, that is so horrible. That is so disgusting. I mean... Apparently, porridge is really good for you. Better, but still far from my normal strength. Right, let's go look in the... Oh, look, here we go. Look at me go now. I can actually move. Let's look in the mirror. And let's see if... I was feeling a bit better and needed some rest. Oh, some rest. Okay, so I've had food. Now I need some rest. Um, oh, my, my bucket's gone. Did I, did I need the bucket as well? So where am I going to rest? Is there... Can you see a mattress anywhere? Is this one of the few places where there isn't a mattress? Oh, is there one down here? Is that? I can't really see. Oh, no, I know, I know, I know. Uh, let's go down here. Is there anything? What's this thing? Oh, okay. I didn't realize I was going to start turning whatever that does. Oh, I found it. I found a nut. Almost. Okay. A little stronger and I can do it. Can I pick the one off of the floor? Almost. A little stronger and I can do it. Okay, well, I guess once I've had some rest, I can open that up. But how do I rest? I can keep some dignity by dining at a table. Hmm, can I just tell myself to, to nap? If I just stay still for a while, can I just rest? <laughs> Let me try lifting this up. I don't think it's going to work, but let's just see what happens. Ooh. Oh, no, I can do it. Oh, it's a bed. Okay. Good night, Newton. And good night, Sally. Good night, Finn. Sleep tight, Leapy. Good night, Fuego. Sweet dreams, Freckles. I had time to name all of the newts while I was in there. <laughs> I made some friends. Oh, I thought that was like opening a door, that lever. It's just to make a bed come down. I was trapped in that dark room. But I remember the day that everything changed. Right, well, I guess I can get my porridge. No more porridge? Or not. Oh, no, and I can hear goblins coming. <laughs> It's just like a couple of clouds, aren't they? Are they trying to get the cobweb for some reason? Not entirely sure why. So I should be strong enough now to get that other bolt off that thing. I'm not sure why I need to, but I'm sure it's going to be useful somehow. Um, and I get, Oh, that's going on outside the door. Why do they want the cobweb for? What are they going to do with it? So they broke their little, their little stool so they can't get it. Oh, now they want oh, me to go and get the cobweb. Wanted me to do their chores. Oh, they're just trying to tidy up. Chores? But to obey. Chores? That's even worse than being locked up. What monsters? <laughs> right, looks like I need to do the cobweb. Well, hopefully, like, I'm just tall enough to grab it. Can I? No, I'm just looking at it. Uh... Oh, I got, I got the cleaning rag. Ugh. Are they just leaving me? Are they just, like, let me out? Um... Okay. Uh, can I, can I go back in? I feel like bad for just being outside of the room. Uh, oh, what's that? Uh, this isn't my room. Um, hello? <laughs> hello there? It's all right. I won't hurt you. Let me just... Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> so where, where was my where was my room? Because I still haven't got my strength up. Okay, I'm back into here now. Uh, let me look in the mirror. And I reckon that I'm going to have two biceps. Oh, no. It's still only one bicep, even after my rest. Let's see. Am I strong enough to pull this bolt off now? Almost. A little stronger and I can do it. Okay, because I see quite tight. Like, do, do I need to have another yet sleep? Yet, I still had chores to finish. Oh, they want me to do more chores. They're not setting me free. There's just more work that they want me if to do. If Mr. Enough. Fancy Cakes was captured, I didn't stand a chance. No! I'm going to have to go and help him out as well. Uh, anyway, uh, I think we have probably just about run out of time in this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed this first episode as much as I've enjoyed recording it. This game is just hilarious, isn't it? It's, it's just so funny. <laughs> and the puzzles are really fun as well. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you're going to come and uh, join me for the uh, the rest of the series. Uh, as always, I'll be leaving a link in the description to the next episode uh, as soon as I have uploaded it. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later.